Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. A few years ago, my friend Paul and I, we walked over 18 months the entire North Downs Way in Southern England, from April 2017 to the beginning of November 2018, over about 10 or 11, 12 walks. Presented here are those individual walks that we've originally videoed and I put on my old channel, MEV Productions, but I've coloured them up a bit, spruced them up, done a little bit of a remaster, um, and it's a load of videos about the North Downs Way. There is, of course, the movie version, which I'll link below, um, but these are remastered videos of the North Downs Way walk that Paul and I did. It's 153 miles from Farnham in Surrey to Dover in Kent via the Canterbury Loop. It was a fascinating trip over those 18 months. Really enjoyable, a few steep climbs, but we got there in the end. The sixth video is from Otford to Cuxton in Kent, and it was 17.5 miles. We were broken after this. <laughs> Enjoy. So Paul and I are in Otford. We just dropped her, his car off uh, in Cuxton. Cuxton, near the Medway. Uh, so it's been quite a bit of a drive this morning. Uh, and now we're in Otford where we finished off last Sunday and heading on the North Downs Way. Let's go. There's the ancient pond in Otford. We're just making sure we know where we're going. <laughs> As we're going up the hill, one of the original Downs Way signs. There's Betty Kelting on the Pilgrim's Way Road. And there we are, North Downs Way signs. And we're going. That's why you have to walk like this. <laughs> That's Collins' sign. <aside. laughs> there you go, with your arms stretched. They were a bit confused, we have to follow the road a bit. As we said before, it's very well way signed, the North Downs Way. But occasionally you've got to keep your eye on the ball. So we're just looking at the map as we go along, and hopefully it's a little turning off one of these roads. If not, we'll have to head back. Okay, we found it, that's the old St. Collins. We're going this way now. Oh, yes, I saw this on um, a website, this little route. It's only a tiny little bit of road walking, which is great. So we come out of this rather nice house, across this orchard. Oh, orchard, this is a word we don't use enough of. Orchard. Orchard. So we can... Fruity. Fruity. You can tell we're in Kent now because the North Downs is one of those signs, as I said, has got a different font. So I think we're going yes, to the yeah. next place. That way. I love these old little gates and walls. So we come out on this rather lovely view across Kent, which is rather lovely. As we uh, the North Downs, it's all about the chalk. Chalk Downs. It's all very nice, very sunny. If you remember back to the uh, third video, I think it was, when I got drenched, got down a bit waterproofs. Paul very kindly thought ahead and actually bought me waterproofs. So that's very nice. I'm on the bicycle this week. I just don't like weighing myself down with stuff from walking. It's just... I, can see a train from here. I can see a train from here, yeah. That's a lovely view. We're walking to a field. Oh, look at the beautiful steed. Oh, aren't they lovely? Hello. Are oh, they gorgeous? There's a cross in the fields and the Kai books don't quite know what it's doing there, but there you go. And as we walk through the fields, this is an old wall, I think it was part of the old manor, probably the old kitchen wall, which is lovely because the view is rather spectacular, as you can see. So we've got to get our skates onto Rotham, Rotham, where we're going to have lunch because the pub we want to go to is stop serving food at 2.30. It's 10 past, quarter past 12 now, so it's nice and cool. Or building there, but actually, I don't. So, Paul saying looks very oldy wood. I don't think actually as old as probably seems, but unusual design. And there's one of the lovely North Down Way markers Farnham 60 miles that way, and Canterbury 54 miles that way, and Dover 65 miles that way. We are doing the Canterbury Loop, so that's lovely. Very cool. Come from there onto a little bit of road walking, just crossing the road more or less. As we head downwards. So 
Is there a distance? Yes, there it is, yeah. Wolf Downs Way to Rotham is only two and a quarter miles, so we That's should right. be on good time. Should be on good time for dinner. Well, you've got to have, yeah, you've got to have the right tool for the right job. And there's some right tools around there. There are some right tools around. There's two right here. <laughs> hey! <laughs> right, yeah, it's right. We're, we're going down over this field, lovely field. Hey! Oh, very cool. Uh, going down this field and heading towards Rotham or Rotham. Once again, sorry if we pronounced it wrong, put it in the comments section. Okay, so this is all signed and um, we're going off road now. Down this way. So we're on a boat. Yeah. Right we're away on. opens all traffic. Oh right. Okay, so we could get run over by four by fours. So we've got to be vexed careful. Okay, coming out into this road. And we'll just go across. Rotham one and a quarter miles. And we're going down there. To the glory tree over there. I hope it's not too blowy. Like it's only a domestic can cord I'm using for this. I don't know how the sound will sound until I'm cutting it later on. So apologies if you just hear wind. Yeah. <laughs> hey! And I hope you heard that joke. If not, I think you can work it out. That's if you heard me say wind in the first place. Alright, some nice houses. Oh, that's a lovely house. We go down that way, but if we go this way, we, still, we don't avoid a part of the North Downs Way. So, on the lovely old properties, there's the church. It's time for lunch. Here we are. Awesome. Very much enjoying our lunch. Paul's got. <coughs> what have you got, Paul? It looks really nice. I have an omelette and salad, it's lovely as well. So we've had lunch at the Rose and Crown, which is really nice. And now we've got to walk back up. Of course, it's taking a thick photo. And we're going to rejoin the North Downs Way just past the church. Okay. Just finding the bridge to cross over. Rotham Water. So it's just carrying on down this hill, following the road. It is, down, then up. Remember kids, the countryside code. When you're walking, doing road walking, make sure you have the traffic, you're facing the traffic as it's oncoming. Walk on the right side of the road, not the wrong side. Yeah. Mm. There's some hop houses over there. I mean, how many roads can be called Pilgrim's Way, really, in Kent? And sorry for that reason, there's so many. Uh, but we're carrying on down the NDW. Indeed, NDW. Let's get uh, phonetic and uh, phone us over there. And we're going down here. This is quite a long route again. We're pretty much working level, but we have this glorious scenery to our right, which is lovely. As Paul and I walk up this steep encampment. We uh, wonder how this old microwave that seems to have been here for ages got here. Why would someone dump a microwave halfway up part of the North Downs Way? <sighs> Ridiculous isn't it Paul, eh? It's a microwave. That's a microwave. See that everyone? He's, he's clever. He's clearly a performer. I'm a real actor of course. Um, microwave. Well, I'm here all week. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. Oh, just be aware this is a bit of a dangerous road actually the one we're walking on. We've got a couple of Heavy duty vehicles come bombing down. Always be careful, guys. Uh, Kent's got some great standing stones, and people who know me, I'm very much into stone circles and ancient monuments. Uh, the Golden Stones are near here, and by the National Trust, and the Chestnuts. I must admit, I've never heard of them, which is interesting. But people have seen my videos uh, for Avebury, I've been going to for 25 years, know what an obsessive nut I am about that place. Very powerful energy centre. There's a nice uh, cathedral of trees walking through in the country park and down the way. It's very nice. We're thinking it's going to rain. But the atmosphere is changing. You always sense it's going to rain. I think it's going to. So. I don't see it so much on the camera because it's uh, got good low light. But it's really dark because the cloud covers come over so it's uh, a little bit creepy. It's really got trees like that. 
a bit excited now. We're going to uh, Cauldron Lung Barrow, a place I've wanted to see all my life and I've never been here before, so as predicted, just peeing it down. But I think it's only a heavy shower as it's in the weather, so I hope it will pass very soon. There it is, Cauldron Lung Barrow. And it's absolutely chucking it down. I really want you to see this properly. Like a mini Glastonbury, you've got all the offerings on the tree. From all our pagan friends. There's a lot of Avery and Swallowhead Spring. I start raining, a little bit of a rainbow coming up. I don't know if you can quite see it. Probably not, it's a bit too faint at the moment. Up above the streets and houses, ring goes flying high. Well, there it is, yeah. It's uh, six and a half miles to Cuxton, where we parked Paul's car. So we're trundling on. Just looking down, and we found a pillbox. I think it is a pillbox, actually. That's another nice rainbow in the distance. Soaring on towards Cuxton at the end of the day's walk. Getting a bit broken now. We just quickly stopped to admire the view, not the industrial view, <laughs> but the, the view. We're sort of heading that way over the hills and into Cuxton. It's been good. So peaceful. Okay, as we walk up, we've come to this. Oh joy. It's got to be done. Other than when we get home. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Nothing for you, mate. Nah, sorry. Oh, sorry. Just passing Holly Hill House. It's an old flint building. Isn't it? Lovely. That's rather wonderful. Okay. We're now walking through an estate, apparently. So the notice said back there, but this is the way the North Downs Way goes. Not far from Cuxton. Paul and I. Are a little bit broken now. It's been 15, actually about 15.5 miles though, as you can see in front. We took a detour of about half a mile to Cauldron Lung Barrow. But it's been a great day, really nice day. Oh, great company over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, a little bit more and we'll be at the end. It's a nice we come out of the forest, just heading down here then up again. It's a nice little park. Map, I'm not sure. Nearly, nearing the end, probably about a mile to go. So come out by with lovely cottages. Nearly, nearly in Cuxton. Paul's just checking the map. This would be rather nice. Because we is in Upper Bush. Oh, the larks you'd have with that for name. Seeing some detectorists in the field. Look, if I point the camera and they might freak out thinking we well, we're from uh, English heritage. Yeah, okay. We've got the right to do this field, you know. Yes. Right, which way are we going now? It's we're going across the field. Across that way. Oh, nearly there. Ten to seven. It's a long, hard walk. But fun. Just going over the railway bridge. There's quite a few. I shall do this sun in your eyes there. Yeah. There it is. We've got 0.8 miles left. As the sun dims, casting a long shadow, we walk over this lovely field up towards Cuxton. We think, what a great day it's been. As we stroll back to the car, just around the corner, there's the River Medway. And after 17 miles today, including its diversions, 
that's our lot done. Um, until next time, thanks for joining us.